How's it going guys? Uh, so today we're going to be looking at some screenshots which haven't actually been seen in proper detail. Uh, they were from the new video that Rugby18 officially released. Uh, was it yesterday I think it was? As of today anyway. Um, so yeah, and they also released a list of all the licensed teams as well that will be in the game. So we're going to have a look at all this stuff and basically talk about it. Uh, so first of all, this is a picture I created of all the licensed teams. teams put together. Uh, as you can see there is, I think there's 65 or something like that, so there's a load of them, all from different leagues, all nas different nationalities and stuff. So the first one is the team management screen. Uh, so if you actually look at it in depth, you can actually change all the positions and everything. All the players uh, and positions are all like, officially licensed. Um, so yeah, you can see the ratings as well here as well. like. We've got Lopetti Timani who is 91 rating. Uh, looks like he's best at is it scrimmaging? At going by the chart, I think it is scrimmaging. Oh, 84 and overall though. But yeah, I don't know. That's just what that looks like. Um, so then we've got another one then, which is the career mode, uh, where basically you'll become a manager and you'll control your team and stuff. Uh, so these are the targets you get given uh, and the stuff you have to succeed in order to get more money. Uh, so like you have the categories like sprinting and conquer the field and all these different things I'd imagine that you click on then and it explain all the targets in that category of what you'd have to do. Like it says there you have 40 different targets and you so far you've achieved zero. So yeah that's quite interesting. Uh, and then here then we have the, I think it's a career mode menu again. Yeah, this is just before the game. Uh, so basically, it tells you your position in the league. Uh, it tells you the other games and results that's happened today. And then, as you can see, you can control your team and you can look at the other fixtures. And it shows you your rating as well. Like Leicester Tigers are 77 and Exeter are 76. So, yeah, it's really interesting seeing the ratings and stuff. And then, this one then is a camera angle which shows from the line out. Which I know, I don't know, we'll do, I think we'll do a separate video showing whether the likenesses of the players look like what they are in real life. Um, but yeah, as of this, like I don't know, I need to research what the, what the players are and look at the pictures in comparison. Uh, but the graphics I thought of this animation is pretty decent. Uh, you can see the ball spinning into the line out and then the players coming up to grab it. And it mainly focuses on the ball as well, which, yeah, I thought it looked quite good. Uh, and then we have a scrumming system, uh, so you'll have an animation before you actually enter the scrum. So I thought that makes it a bit more detailed and looks quite cool. Uh, the graphics are quite decent then as well, uh, you can see the good shadows and just the detail that's gone into that. Um, but the guy by the scoreboard where the shadow looks a bit pixely, but that might just be because grass, blades of grass, or maybe it's just a blurry picture. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see uh, when the rugby game comes out. Uh, so then we have the official lineup as well of all the different players and uh, the teams, the licensed teams. Uh, so I thought that was quite good as well because I know rugby challenge games in the past have had the players licensing but they don't look like them. They don't have the photos, they just have the game face sort of thing, do you know what I mean? So I think it looks a lot better if you have the official uh, player photos. So that's that one then. And then moving on then we got uh, the menu just before the game begins uh, which will show the lineup of the players uh, next to each other in their kits where you'll get the change of stadium and you'll have all these different match settings and stuff and I would imagine you probably would get the change of camera angle and the uh, time of each individual half of the game and everything so yeah I thought that was quite a cool little detail as well seeing the players and the graphics aren't that bad. Um, but yeah, as I said, we'll do a different video of seeing whether the comparison of the in-game characters and the players look like. So this one then is uh, basically an animation of what the two players, one coming off and one coming onto the field. Uh, it looks quite detailed. It doesn't look amazing, uh, but going by as it's the first game Eco has made, uh, Eco Software has made of rugby, it looks quite detailed and looks quite good, and it does look like a good stepping stone for a few future games. Um, but yeah, next one then is the kicking techniques. Uh, I'm quite glad they're going to be having the aiming system for the kicking because uh, Rugby World Cup 2015 didn't have that. 
Uh, you probably saw in a gameplay not long ago that I played of that. If you haven't seen that, go and watch it. Um, but yeah, when you kick off in that game, it doesn't actually show where the ball's going to go. You, yeah, so it's just it's really annoying actually because you don't know, you don't have what you want when it comes to the kicking options. Like say if I want to kick it up and for it just to go a few meters in front of me, you can't do that because it doesn't show you. Well, you can do it, but it doesn't show you where it's going. You can't aim it. So uh, yeah, that's why that was quite annoying. So I'm glad they brought that back. Um, and then we've got the mauling system. Uh, so if you actually look at the options, you can actually add individual players into the maul. Is it? No, it's not a maul. Sorry, it's a ruck. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, you can add them in, uh, individually and stuff. So I thought that was quite good. Uh, in an interview as well from the Scottish Canon, the executive did actually say as well that uh, like you can have like the easy system. So if you just want to play it for fun. You don't want to like go into detail. You don't want it to be difficult. Then you can just change the controls just to fun and simple. Or if you really, really want to like show your skills and stuff, then you can have like uh, an advanced sort of setup on your controller. Where you can add them individually and choose all the different layouts and stuff. So I thought that was quite good. Uh, so this is a menu system, then where you're just basically selecting your team. As you can see, like it's laid out quite well. I thought. Uh, as you can see, you got the rugby player in the background, you got the different logos and stuff, and you can change the competitions as well by pressing LB or RB. Um, so yeah, and it sh again, it shows the ratings of the teams as well. Um, so yeah, I thought that was laid out simple, but also looks quite good. Uh, and then we got another animation here of the uh, the menu before a match. Again, you got the players there as well. We'll do a comparison in another video. Uh, and then the next one, then we have. This, this is a mall, but it looks like now. It's a ruck. Yeah, it is a ruck. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, you got the players. Just an example then of adding each individual player into the mall. And, uh, yeah, it's the advanced setup, I'd imagine, of the controls to do that. Uh, but, yeah, for those gamers out there that actually want to you know, obviously control the game your way, then uh, it's quite good to do that. This is the ruck again, but looks of it. Is that or is that a scrum? It's hard to tell because I've just freeze framed what like the video showed. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know what that was going into. Um, it's either a ruck or a scrum, but it looks of it. I don't know, but either way, it's I'd imagine it's still the same sort of technique, and it just shows off the graphics and stuff anyway. Uh, so yeah, I thought this was pretty good. Some really good improvements and laid out pretty well for the rugby game coming and it was announced as well that it's going to be out on the 27th of October I think it is so uh, not long uh, just over a month isn't it yeah just over a month uh, so yeah uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to comment let me know what you thought of this game are you gonna get it or are you not I'm gonna get it I've already pre-ordered it so yeah uh, thanks for watching guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, there'll be more videos on this. When the game comes out, I'll try and make a video for the first day it's released. And uh, show you guys what I think of it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.